time for a high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcers for tonight's game. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another night of basketball action tonight. We're on the campus of Northview High School where it's the, the Northview Cougars against the Ashford Yellow Jackets. And uh, we'll see what goes on here between these two squads. Four and four for Northview, three and eight for the Yellow Jackets. And the Cougars uh, control the, the, the ball and we're underway. Bobby Price and Mick Kirkland here with you with our videographer, uh, Brian Nyman. Three-point shot off the bat. That, that was A.J. Williams, Bobby. He's one of the Williams. veterans from last year. He comes in and knocks down a three on his first possession. Ashford uh, works, try, works the ball around looking... Uh, for uh, an inside shot, almost a loose ball, and, uh, but what the Yellow Jackets are able to control. 23 drives toward the basket, up and in, won't go, gets his own rebound, loose ball, and here come the Cougars. 23 under the basket, loose ball on the floor. And we have a quick whistle. That time, Northview tried to penetrate and picked up the foul. That foul was on number 21 of Ashford Preston Steele. It would be his first and the team's first. Okay, we got uh, 10, Desmond McGriff, 12, Jawan Richardson, 14, Stevante Tullis, 21, Preston Steele, and 23, Chantress Wheeler for the uh, Yellow Jackets. Shot by number three is off, and the Yellow Jackets control. They're trailing by three. Coach uh, Chase Lewis uh, in his first season at uh, Northview, they're three, um, excuse me, at Ashford, they're three and eight on the year, and the Cougars are playing 500 ball at four and four piece. <laughs> Northview uh, guarding against uh, Yellow Jackets, uh, a jump shot there from a griff on a turnaround was no good, so here come the Cougars on the attack once again. Cougars trying to work the ball in down low to number 23, Bobby. That's uh, Malik Johnson. I see the foul, I believe, is going to be a big against, against McGriff. That's the second team foul. Starting for Northview is A.J. Williams, number four, Billy Ford, Destaro Reynolds, number five, Terrell Harris, number 13, and 23 is Malik Johnson. Out to number three, who shoots a three. It's off the mark. A loose ball, and uh, the Cougars control it. 13 puts it up. No good. Big rebound from number 12, and the Cougars are there to get it. And so 13 puts it in for two, Terrell Harris. That was uh, number five for Norfolk, wasn't it? That score, was it? It was it was number uh, number thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, Terrell. Uh, what happened then, Bobby? Was um, Northview did a good job of pressing the inbounds pass, and they forced the turnover, and they were able to capitalize on the uh, Ashford turnover. So Ashford's committed two turnovers here in the first, and uh, Northview's taking advantage of it. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Coach Lewis in his first season at Ashford. Uh, he says, uh, you know, he's got a very young team. Uh, he's got a bunch of seniors, but a whole, not a whole lot of action. And uh, that's why they're three and eight on the year. Uh, and, and he called a quick timeout. He did not like the way that his guys were playing uh, on the floor. So he just wants to calm them down, get the jitters over a little bit uh, before uh, they get back into action because that, they're now uh, down by five. And, and uh, 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 apparently... Uh, you don't want to get too far behind on these Cougars. No, you don't, Bobby. They are playing very aggressive, and, and we've looked at them. They've hit a big three-pointer coming from uh, A.J. Williams and a good penetration shot by Terrell Harris. So Northview is trying to spread things out and get the inside and outside game going. And Ashford just committed that third turnover of the uh, period. Yeah, Dan Curl has come into the game, number 24, uh, for Ashford. 
Billy Ford with the ball. Gets it into 23. This is Johnson. Big guy. Number 13 shoots. It's off the mark for Harris. And Ashford controls. That time, Teller's got a good job for Ashford getting in position for the rebound. Up to 14, 24, takes a shot, long one. It is no good. And they're going to they gonna call a foul on number 23. That's going to be Johnson's first foul. Uh, Wheeler's first uh, foul by Ashford. Well, it was on Johnson, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was on I'm Johnson, yeah. Good gracious. Uh, Subs I thought he was pouring the other way. Yep, uh, number five. Number five comes in. I don't have a number five on on that. On the roster. Northview, uh, just Daryl Reynolds. No, for, for Ashford, Ashford. For Ashford, we'll have to get that name. Here's the inbounds toss. Four forty-six left. It's still five to nothing. As number twelve shoots and misses. Ten. So Ashford commits that fourth turnover, Bobby, and that's something I'm quite sure Coach Lewis is not happy about. Absolutely. That drives the coach crazy. Four, approaching four and a half minutes of the first quarter of play. Northview all the way, five zip. Number four drives a basket. Nice move for Billy Ford. That was, a two. Good, that was a good baseline move that time by Billy Ford, taking it up and putting it in for two, and puts his Cougars up by seven. 23 finally gets on the scoreboard. That's uh, Wheeler for two. And it's uh, taken Ashford almost half, just under half of the first period to get points on the board. Turnover by Northview as number five charged with traveling. As number 14 comes back in the game, Stevante Tullis and number five sits down. Seven to two, 356 left. Knocked away by the Cougars, stays with Ashford. You know, many of these guys out on the uh, basketball court, Bobby, I'm familiar with them on the football <laughs> field. Uh, I know it. I know you're probably with the Ashford players. I'm very familiar with the Northview football players. 14 up and in. That's uh, Tullis for two. He's that, just a ninth grader, Mitt. Wow, that was a very impressive shot that time by, by Tullis, getting up high over Johnson. Northview moving around. Wide open shot is off the mark. Control by Ashford. Number 14 gets a long throw down court. Knocked away by 23. 23 shoots a three and misses. And the Jackets get the rebound. 23 is up there again and we still won't go. I tell you what, Ashford did a really good job of getting second chance shots that time. They got up three shots, but they couldn't knock either one of them down, and Northview was able to pull away the rebound. 7-4, misses, three, gets three, a rebound, Williams. So Williams uh, gets in for two, makes it a 9-4 game with 2.44 left in the first quarter of play. Williams has five points for the Cougars tonight. He's leading all scores. Ashford playing a 1-3-1 offensive setup. 23 jumps, shoots long, and uh, has an air ball. Three-point shot by number three. That's uh, A.J. Williams' second three of the game, Bobby. He's knocked in eight points so far, and we're just in the first. And Ashford commits their fifth turnover of the period to one for Northview. And uh, those are not the kind of leads you want to have. Not Sean, in those uh, stats. Yeah, Sean Holmes and Jalen Thomas who comes into the game. As McGriff uh, had a back brace on, and apparently it was bothering him, so he took that thing off for Ashford. We're down to 206 left in the first. It's a 12-4 lead for Northview. Harris brings it across midcourt, top of the key, gets it over to number three, drives toward the baseline, puts it up, and it won't go. And uh, number four puts it in. 
Ford for two. That time, Northview did a very good job of keeping the ball alive on the, on the offensive boards, and they were able to come away with two points. And uh, an errant shot by uh, McGriff. Nothing to it. And here comes the Cougars on a fast break again. Out to number three. 20 shoots for three is no good. And a whistle. Number 21 has uh, been pulled out of the game for some reason. Something uh, wrong with... Uh, I, don't, I, I just don't know. Get, get some help from Ashford. Traveling is the call against Ashford. Another turnover. Six. Into the game for Northview is Sean Holmes, number 20. Uh some hesitation on the floor as we've got uh, <laughs> a telephone battery being charged over there right off the floor. <laughs> so Northview uh, tries and doesn't get it, and we get a foul called, and it's, it's going to be on the Cougars. That's Cameron Matthews. That's uh, Matthews. Sean Holmes picks up the I'm sorry, foul. yeah. I'm looking on the wrong oh, end. Sorry. I've been at a couple of times tonight. We're just, <laughs> we're just getting started this year, so y'all have to uh, excuse our <laughs> mistakes. And so 15 and 14 comes in. Kendrick Mitchell, a sophomore, and Javante Lee, also a sophomore. A little pressure being applied by the Cougars. Number 30, Thomas. Toward the basket, it won't go. And uh, a rebound by the Cougars. Fast break to 20, and uh, he can't control it. And uh, it goes out on a Cougar player, so Ashford gets the ball back. Trailing by 10, 14 to 10, with 49 seconds left in the first quarter. Loose ball. The Cougars come up with it again. 15 looking. 14 shoots a three. It's no good. Gets his own rebound. Uh, knocked away. And 15 will take a three. It's no good. Mitchell gets it. Shoots it back to uh, Lee. Uh, uh, Lee puts Bobby, it in for three. I, I guess the third time was the charm. They, must have they been. tried three, three pointers, and that third one finally went down. Big foul on number 23. Uh, Wheeler goes down. Ford charged with that foul. So two shots at the line for Sean Tress Wheeler, a senior for the Yellow Jackets. First of two is good. So he's uh, one for one, now looks for the second one. Eyes the basket, puts it up, it's off the mark. Controlled by the Cougars. And the Jackets uh, get a steal, 24 shoots a three. Nothing doing. Ball is out uh, on the Jackets. Uh, that foul was it's call on number five. Okay, for Ashford. so five is back in for Ashford. Yeah, so. yeah. So we'll try and get his name. We will have a chance to. So uh, that's, that's we've come right to it. the end of one, Bobby. Yeah. So the end of one period of play. It's Northview 17, five for Ashford. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. All right, welcome back to uh, the action here as we start the second uh, quarter of play. play. Uh, Ashford uh, with the ball, 44 is in the game, Christian Allard, and uh, we get a, another turnover. 
another and, another turnover and, by Ashford. And, and Bobby, one of the things that really hurt Ashford in the first was they committed seven turnovers to two for Northview, and they come out first play of the second period and commit another turnover. That's something they can not continue to do and uh, have a chance of winning this game. Cameron Matthews is also in for Ashford, number 20. Under the basket, 23. Johnson gets in the scoring act for two, 19 to five. And Northview is going to do another steal, and 14, Mitchell puts it in for two. And that is the second possession and second turnover for Ashford in the period. And we've only played 48 seconds. 21 to 5. Turnover number three, Bobby. We played less than one minute. We played 56 seconds in the second, and Ashford has, has had the ball three times and has turned it over three times. Yep. A lot of pressure being applied by the Cougars as well, and I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, plus we're doing a 6A school over a 4A school. A jumper it in. That's 21. Thomas for two. 23 to five. And from the corner, number 23 drains it. That was a good looking three that time from Wheeler. That gives him a total of six points for the game. He's leading all Ashford scores. 24 gets a rebound. And they get uh, their offense, of course, across the midcourt, all the way to the corner. 23 shoots again. It's an air ball. I think right now Northview's taking too many threes, Bobby. Yeah. Three attempts. They, they need to. Number you know, they have, a, they have a size advantage over Ashford, and they should try to take advantage of the yeah. size advantage. Uh, Lee gets that foul. That will be his first. So at the line will be, uh, is that 24? Yeah, 24. Dan, Dan Curl. Curl, yeah. He misses that first. Back in the ball game, Billy Ford. Has another free throw attempt coming. It is 23 to 8 with 5.55 left in the half. He makes it. A one of two. 23 to 9. The Cougars looking to work their offense under the bat to the big guy. Three second lane violation against Johnson. So the Cougars turn the ball back over to the Yellow Jackets, and we'll see if they can take advantage of the uh, miscue. Seem to be settling down just a little bit. Uh, oh, the Jackets. The Yellow Jackets trying to move the ball around and turn it over again. Uh, Number 14 just was not ready for it. Tell us. I think what, what Ashby's got to do is settle down, Bob, but they're trying to force some things. I know they're behind, and they need to get some points on the board, but you'll never get points on the board if you don't maintain possession of the ball. So the key thing for them is to try to maintain possession and slowly chip away at the Northview lead. Three-point shot is good. AJ, baby. AJ Williams with his third three of the game. That gives them 11 points. And he, and Ashford wants a timeout. With 4:56 left in the first half, Northview leads 26 to nine. All right. Following the timeout, Ashford is uh, going to take the toss in. It comes across midcourt. 24 shoots a three and misses. Billy Ford on the offense for Ashford Coast, I mean for Northview Coast to Coast, couldn't put it in. Hey, 
So it's out on the Cougars. Number 24 gets it quickly across the court. Dishes it from 23 in the corner. Too long. Here comes Northview. 33 shoots. Jumped, Mott, missed, 24, puts it in. Charles uh, Suzu. I tell you, Northview, uh, and they steal the ball and gets it in for two more. That's, that was uh, uh, Goodson. And Davis Goodson. So that's turnover number five of the period for Ashford. And. Foul is on A.J. Williams. A.J. has had an excellent game tonight, Bobby. Three three-pointers and a two-pointer, 11 points. He's leading all scorers. So number five back in the game. Number 12, another turnover. Up, it stays with Ashford. Off you up by 21 points, Bobby. And another Ashford turnover. So, so far in the game, Ashford has 10, 11, 12, 13 turnovers. They have more turnovers than points. And that's def definitely a recipe for disaster. That is right. 343 left in the, uh, in the half. Harris uh, gets his own rebound, shoots, no good. Number four up in the air, and Ashford gets the rebound. Ashford shoots and no points. Fast break by the Cougars. Good ball movement that time by the Cougars. A nice assist coming from uh, Terrell Harris over to number 33, Goodson. So that gives Goodson full points on the night. 32 to 9 is our score. Ashford shoots. Number five misses. And uh, Harris. Loose ball on the floor. Now uh, Northview commits a turnover. Number 10, that was a, in, McGriff. That was a good backdoor move that time by McGriff getting open in the lane, and he found an open. He puts the points up, puts the ball up for two points. So we're going to get a timeout on the floor here with 2.32 yeah. left in the half. It's 32-11. It's Northview over Ashford. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. That's right, set to resume action here with just over two and a half minutes left in the first half of play. It's, uh, it's a 21-point lead for Northview. And Northview with the ball goes inside to 23. Floor foul is the call. Hey, what? 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 24, uh, Dan Curl, his first. Number 20 shoots a three. Off the mark. The Yellow Jackets come up with the rebound. Another turnover, Mitt. Yep. Number 20 shoots three. No good. That time uh, Holmes took another three attempt, and it was off the mark again. Good drive down the basket by number 24, but it won't go. Locked for a away curl. by Johnson. Traveling is the call on uh, Northview. Turnover. And Bobby, that is only their second turnover of the period, and only the fourth of the game versus Ashford has. Has seven in the first, and they've added seven more. 14 turnovers for Ashford. So that was 14 scoring opportunities lost. Okay, number five, Hollinger. Loses it again. 20 to the baseline. Three-second lane violation. This time against number 20, Holmes. Thank you. 
Uh, they said it uh, did not touch a Northview player, so another turnover meant by Ashford. Well, Bobby, I'm about to run out of space. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, uh, basketball is so much a mental game. I think what happens, teams behind, they try to rush things and try to get catch up in a flurry, and it doesn't work. Just take your time and just chip away at the lead, and that's what Ashford's not doing. So they are just uh, really making a lot of mistakes. Turnaround jumper by number two is short. 33 couldn't do it. And we got a jump ball, and it stays with the Cougars. Fifty-six and a half seconds left in the period. Out to number 20, who shoots a three. Can't get it. Ashford. Fast breaks it toward... Uh, and the Cougars steal it again. And uh, they could come in a turnover. Train turnovers. <laughs> Sound like a special at McDonald's, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was uh, touched by 33 uh, Goodson, so Astro will keep it on there into the court with 31.2 seconds left, and it's 32 to 11. But Northview has done a good job of forcing turnovers too, Bobby. They have really put a lot of pressure on Ashford. And they have uh, they have worked both the boards on both ends of the court. Offensive and defensive boards. Foul's going to be on Ashford. Foul is on Wheeler, his yep. second. At the line is number two, Jeffrey Mitchell. So Mitchell, uh, a senior, looking for his first points of the night. In and out. Oh for one. Still has another shot coming. It's in the air. It's good. So 33 to 11. 22 point lead. The 14. Knocked away by number 12. Uh, Michael Reynolds, Dante Thomas into the game, number 30, all the way out to 24. Knocked away by the Cougars. So that's going to bring us to the half, Mitt. Uh, 33 to 11 the score. Uh, Northview over the Ashford High School Yellow Jackets. So you're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Okay, it's halftime at the Northview Gymnasium where the Cougars are leading the Ashford Yellow Jackets 33 to 11. And with me tonight, I have a former player from Northview who was here last year, Marquez White. Yes, sir. Good to have you, Marquez. Thank you, Dan. I'm blessed to be here. Did you ever think, I know you're in football now, did you ever think you would be playing in the national championship game the year after you uh, left Northview? Never, not, never in a million years I, I, uh, I would think that God would be able to bless me with something like this. An opportunity, I've never been to California, uh, never had an undefeated season since like middle school at City League, so I thank him for that. And uh, just when we first got the Jumbo, Coach Fisher, he was telling us how he felt like the group we had was special, the, the leadership, the scenes we got. Uh, the chemistry, how close we are. He was telling us that uh, if we do what we need to do, stay consistent, that we, could, we, had a, we have a chance to compete for, uh, for the national championship. And that's what we believe it from, uh, from, freshmen to, from the freshmen to the seniors. That's what we believe in. That's what we believe in each and every game. And we just go out and play for each other. That's, that's, what, it, that's, that's what it mainly is. Well, that's wonderful. I know uh, you've got to be pretty excited about that opportunity because it's something probably as a kid uh, growing up, uh, a dreaming of playing in a national championship game, but it seems so distant and so far that 
a lot of times it doesn't feel real. So how does it feel to you? It's uh really I'll try not to think about it. Just uh because I don't want to like feel like I'm over preparing for it uh, or just I just like I said I'm just thankful for the opportunity. I just it, words can't really describe how how uh, how much it means to me to be able to play in a game like this. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we're excited for you. Thanks for stopping by and talking to us. Yes, sir. And good luck right. thank for the nose. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and welcome back uh, to Northview High School as we get ready to start the second half of Eichen. The Cougars leading 33 to 11, and just quickly recapping the scoring. The scoring leaders for uh, Northview was number three, A.J. Williams, with 11 points. The leading scorer for Ashford was number 23, uh, Wheeler, with uh, with uh, six points. But the storyline in this game, Bobby, is turnovers. Another turnover by Ashford. Fast break. Double take. He couldn't put it in. And uh, Hollinger knocks it away. So uh, stays with Northview. And what I was saying, Bobby, Ashford had 17 first half turnovers and it scored 11 points. <laughs> so you can't score if you can't maintain possession of the ball. So they've got to come out this second half and try to slow things down and uh, maintain possession and get off some good shots. But Northview's got to come out and do what they did the first half. They put a lot of pressure on Ashford, forcing turnovers, and they were able to get points off turnovers. All right. And, uh, Ashford uh, looking to, uh, to move the ball around and hopefully maintain possession as number 12 shoots a three. For Richardson, and that's uh, a nice way to start things. Jawan Richardson puts three on the board. Trying to go inside to uh, Reynolds and knocked away by Hollinger. Who made that three, Bobby? Uh, Jawan Richardson, number 12. Three-point shot is off the mark. Big rebound by 23 Johnson. Bobby, that was a big-time move that time by Johnson getting that ball off the board, going back up and knocking it in. And traveling is the call. I tell you, do, do, do you know uh, Williams is uh, – Johnson, Johnson is pretty tall. I don't – Half his height, but he's he's a tree. <laughs> I'm telling you. Good drive to the basket that time. Baseline by number four, Billy Ford. <laughs> Foul is on number 20, Cameron Matthews is first. Yep. So that's uh, four point, three points for Billy Ford. Uh, gives him a total of seven on the night. Loose ball, another turnover. Northview in the fast break. Up and in. That was a really nice left-handed layup that time by A.J. Williams. That gives Williams 13 points. Northview keeping the pressure on. Help me, Malik. Don't stand up, folks. Don't help me. 546 left in the half. Okay, uh, Reynolds will call with a foul. Yep. So that will be his first. Uh, Chantress Wheeler is back in, number 23 for Ashford. Curl, looks, uh, trying to get some help there. Kicked, stays with Ashford. And Bobby, it's a 40 to 14 game. Northview led 17-5 at the end of one, and they took a 33 to 11 lead into halftime, and they've come out here and put up seven to only three for Ashford. There's a foul on the play. Johnson, that's going to be his second. 
So uh, Hollinger will come to the line. It's going to be his second, yeah. So we'll see what the Wheeler, uh, excuse me, uh, Hollinger can do at the free throw line. First one is no good. Dwayne Hollinger makes the second, so it makes him one of two. Gives them uh, 15 points on the night. Wheeler picks up his third. So two shots will be Billy Ford, a senior. And Ford is uh, one of one from the line tonight. Has a total of seven points. Make it eight. Got another coming. Substitution into the game is number 10 for Ashford Desmond McGriff. And out goes number five, Dwayne Hollinger. All right, here comes the second free throw attempt for Ford. And it's good. So Ford is 3-3 from the line yep. tonight. 42-15, uh, five minutes of the third. 14 looks toward the basket. And it's blocked by Johnson. Johnson, he feels like eight foot tall there when he goes <laughs> when he goes up like that. Good. Number three, Williams for two. That was a great second effort that time by A.J. Williams. Putting the ball up after the miss, and that gives him 15 points. Knocked away again by Johnson. Another, another uh, Cougar basket. A reverse layup was no good. Wheeler. Turnover number five, Bobby. So for the game, that's 23 Golly. unofficially. 23 turnovers for the Yellow Jackets and 15 points. Fourteen for a three. Loose ball. Here comes the Yellow Jackets. Turnover. Northview. Billy Ford. Billy Ford goes down and slams one through. 46-15. I, th I think, Bobby, this Ashford team is a much better team than what we're seeing tonight. They have just been out of sync all night long. Yes, they have. 13. Harris for two. We're down to 3.24 left in the third. It's a 48-15 to 15 Northview lead. Number 12 shoots for three downtown. No good. Rebound from Williams. 14 puts it up and it won't go. Three gets the rebound. And A.J. just drops it in. Northview is doing a, a good job of keeping the ball alive on the... Offensive boys, Bobby. They missed that someone there to put it back up, and uh, they've got some really good uh, points off second chance baskets. So we got a full timeout called by uh, Coach uh, Lewis for Ashford as he trails by a score of 50 to 15. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. All right, uh, here's the inbound toss to the uh, Yellow Jackets, and We'll see what they, uh, Ashford can do on uh, this possession. A three-pointer in the corner from number 23, Wheeler. That's his second three. Nine points for Wheeler tonight. North you working the ball around, looking to go inside, but it just wasn't there. 15 in the corner for three is short. 
Double O to the basket, and he's fouled by Hollinger. So Dwayne Hollinger picks up his first foul. So uh, Menifield at the at the ba basket to shoot two. First one falls away, no good. Okay, so Minifield so gets one or two, Bobby. 51 to 18, 223 left in the third period of play. It has been all Northview. The turnovers have cost the Yellow Jackets dearly. Inside the number 10, turnaround jumper won't go. Here comes the Cougars on the fast break. Melton with the ball, gets it to Lee. Back to Melton again. Try to drive the baseline, it won't go for him. Hollinger gets the rebound, here comes Ashford. Number 21, Preston Steele. Hollinger to uh, Wheeler. Wheeler loses control, but then he shoots. And it won't go. So 14 takes a three. Rebounded by the Cougars. 15 driving the basket, puts it up, twists it in. That was a good looking drive that time by Lee to the basket, Bobby. He showed a lot of skills and poise and taking the ball in, bouncing it off the glass and uh, for two. 53 to 18. We're just over a minute. Left in the third. Hollinger shot won't go. Here come the Cougars. Twenty-four puts it in for two. That's Curl. And that time Ashford did something positive. They forced the turnover and they were able to capitalize on the turnover by Northview. So uh it's a 53-20 game with 46 seconds left in the third. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. 46.4 seconds left in the third period. Cougars get it across midcourt. Working their play. 14 inside to double O. Won't go, but uh, stays with the Cougars. Thirty-two drives a basket, puts it up, it won't go. And Ashford gets the rebound, McGriff. That was a good move by Melton, he just couldn't finish it off. 11 seconds, no, I'm sorry, 15 seconds. Into number 10 and 20. I uh, think we're gonna have a foul on Minifield. Double over the top. Yep. That was his first. Need the team in the bonus, Bobby. We haven't had an excessive number of fouls tonight. Here comes Northview. Fast break. 15. Hey, Kendrick Mitchell. Good so up Mitchell there, follows up and puts it in for two. So at the end of three, it's 55-20. Uh, it's Northview over Ashford. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. All right, we're uh, set to start the fourth and final period of action tonight. I'm sure Ashford uh, is probably interested in just getting this thing over with and try to get back home as uh, number 20, uh, Holmes, takes a long shot. And it uh, goes out of bounds of the Cougars, so Ashford. Uh, and, and Bobby, in Northview, I scored Ashford 22-9 to nine in that period. And if it, it goes right back to what we talked about earlier, Ashford committed uh, seven turnovers in the period, and that gives them a total unofficially of 30 turnovers for the game. Wow. Mitchell fouls. 
That's only the third team foul on uh, Northview in, in the second half. Like I said, fouls have not been a problem for either one of the teams. There have not been uh, a bunch of fouls. The floor foul called against the Cougars. Now we'll see who it's on. So Mitchell picks up two quick ones. Hollinger gets the inbounds toss all the way across the floor. It's long by number 21. Still, here come the Cougars. Fast break up and in for number 12. Michael Reynolds did a good job, Bobby, of controlling the ball and banking it off the glass for two. 24, Curl makes a three. Curl comes right back and answers with the big three, but the Cougars come right back on their time. Coast to Two coast more for Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, coast to coast. Six, oh, well, we're going to call it six minutes left in the game. Nice floater that time from Preston Steele. That puts him into the scoring action tonight. Turnaround jumper. Hollinger is going to draw the foul. That'll be his uh, second. At the free throw line to shoot two is number 24, Charles Asuzu, who has two points tonight. Make it three. We got... Uh, Four subs coming in for Ashford. And the line shooter for Northwood, Charles Masulzi. All right, he's got the first one made, looking for the second. And he dumps it in. It's good. Well, Sosa made both of his free throws. 61-25. Four points for him. Ashford looking for uh, something for the top of the key is in and out. Rebound from Holmes for Northview. And he 24 travels. And Bobby, what we have seen here in the fourth is Ashford has come out and scored five points and Northview six. But the key is zero turnovers <laughs> in the fourth. So we got a inbounds toss coming for Ashford. Trailing 25-61 with uh, just over four minutes left in the contest. A lot of, lot of new numbers into the game for Ashford. Number 21 drives the basket. It will not uh, work for him. That's still. Uh, McGriff is in there. 24 is Curl. Number 30 is Beyonce Thomas. Along with number 12, Richardson. Ashford reverses... Uh, the movement here is number 12 shoots a three, and it's good. That was That's a good-looking shot that time by Richardson. That's his second three of the game. All coming here in the second half. Two. That's going to be a foul on the play. It appears the foul's going to be on. Ashton. Number 10, McGriff, gets his second. So at the line will be uh, Sean Holmes. To uh, shoot a pair. So Holmes and Melton are the only two. Well, Reynolds has not uh, made a point. So Holmes makes the first of two. Coach uh, Fleming trying to get uh, everybody into the scoring act tonight. Uh, everybody's been in. 63. So Holmes makes both of his free throws. 
It's a 63-28 lead for Northview. Air ball. Northview. Ashford gets the turnover. So we got uh, substitutions coming in. Galore. Yeah, Minifield double zero thirteen is Harris. Uh, let's see, fourteen is in, and I'm trying to get all these numbers. Twelve is Reynolds. Thirty-three is Goodson. Uh, alert play from uh, Reynolds picks up an easy two uh, on that play. Sixty-five twenty-eight. Thirty-three gets the rebound. That's Goodson. The number twelve won't go. Goodson turnaround jumper won't go. Still up and at it. His third attempt puts it in for two. That was a great hustle that time by Minifield, Bobby. He stuck with it until he got something out of it. Three points oh. in and out. Boy, that one looked like it was going to go. Yeah, Minifield. So we got a timeout on the floor for uh, Fort Northview with a minute and two seconds left. Uh, it is going to be a full timeout, so we'll break away here. 67 Let's 28. See, Bobby, to why score. don't we uh, recap the scoring by okay. quarters right. while we got a little right. time here? Uh, it's, it was a, it's been a long, hard road for the Yellow Jackets. They fell behind 17 to 5 at the end of one and 33 to 11. So they only put up 11 points in the entire first half. And uh, it was a 33 11 halftime lead. They trailed. 55 to 20 at the end of three, and right now they are trailing 67 to 28. A minute and, well, a minute left. Number 13 for the Cougars. 32, puts it up and in. That's Melton for two, and he'll come to the line. So, Bobby, everybody on Northview team has scored tonight. That's McGriff's third. At the line is Roderick. Roderick Melton. Misses. Gets his rebound and follows up. He misses and then follows up and puts in two more. So he made a three-point play out of it. Ashford shoots another three, is short. Here comes uh, Terrell Harris on the fast break. Good follow Melton, by, two more. Uh, Melton. So we have a final score here, Bobby, 73 to 28. Wow. And uh, it was a tough game for the Yellow Jackets tonight. And Bobby, we have to summarize things. For the Yellow Jackets, it was a tough night because of the number of turnovers. They committed unofficially 31 turnovers, and uh, Northview on the other side had six, seven, eight, nine turnovers. So they had three times as many turnovers, and uh, once they start maintaining possession of the uh, ball, they were able to put up some points. Uh, the second half, they put up. 16 points versus 11 in the first. So you have some point totals for us, Bobby? Uh, uh, for the uh, for the Ashford Yellow Jackets and their effort, uh, we had nine points for Sean Tress Wheeler. Uh, he was their leading scorer. Two guys in the six-point column, uh, Dan Curl and uh, Jawan Richardson. Then we had uh, two points from Desmond McGriff, two points from Tullis, uh, to round out their scoring. Uh, well, I, I, I take it back, still made uh, made two points as well. Uh, over on the other side, uh, Minifield, I have him with one. Mitchell. Uh, three. Three? Yeah, three, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so Mitchell, I have it at five, 17 for Williams, 11 for Ford, four for Reynolds, four for Harris, two for Mitchell, 
five for uh, four Lee. Four for Mitchell. Four for Mitchell? Yeah, he had two the first half and two the second half. Okay, so we get a total of four there. And then I have Lee with five, Holmes with two, Thomas with two, four from Johnson, four from Asuzu, and six. six for Melton, and six for Goodson. The only person I have not with any points is uh, – just Terrell Reynolds. Uh, let's see. You're exactly right, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Every player on the Northview team scored except for one player. So it was a, a good night for the Cougars and a not-so-good night for the Yellow Jackets. So that's going to wrap it up for us uh, tonight here on the Scenic Sports Network uh, from the gymnasium on Highway 431, just north of uh, the Circle in Dothan and Northview. They win it tonight going away. 73 to 28. Any final comments, Mitt? Well, uh, we had a special guest at halftime. It was good to see Marquez White, yep. who played here in the same gym last year at Ripley Stadium for the Cougars, and now he's playing a national championship game with the Florida State Seminoles, and uh, we wish him the best of luck. And uh, yep. we like to see our players in the local area go on to the next level and compete. And, uh, you know, you can't have, have a higher honor than competing in the national championship game. I'm and uh, we also would like to mention that uh, former Dothan high player Cameron Melton is on the uh, Auburn team. All so right. we're going to have a, a, a Wiregrass Dothan player uh, from the city of Dothan player on the Northview, on the uh, Florida State team and one on the Auburn team. So congratulations to both teams. Best of luck. That's true. Uh, a lot of uh, college football uh uh, left to play, but it's uh, it's going to be the final games of the season and lots of round ball action all over the Wiregrass, and we'll uh, keep you up to date with that uh, as we progress on. For our videographer, Brian Nyman and Mitt Kirkland, Bobby Price saying so long. We'll see you again soon right here on the Scenic Sports Network. <laughs>